Hello, today we will take a look at how to monitor the queues of IBM Q. With Bistock 360, you can monitor the health of the queue as well as other parameters associated with the queue, such as current queue depth, backout queue depth, and their usages. In order to monitor IBM MQ queues message transfers, all you have to do is select the queues in the artifacts mapping, and then we see we have a new tab over here called IBM Q. Uh, Bistock 360 will automatically list out all the sent ports and receive locations which are using these adapters. Bistock Server and IBM is integrated using two of the adapters, MQSC, which is client-side, and MQ Series, which is a server-side adapter. You can configure them by clicking on the gear icon on the right-hand side. We will just have a look at a couple of parameters which are displayed over here. We have the application name, the port name, the queue itself, the depth of the queue, and we have the backout queue and the backout queue depth which is also displayed. So we can see that if you configure a queue, it will be in the healthy or warning state uh, as per the current conditions provided. Otherwise, it will be set in the state of non-configured. Uh, if you have MQSC uh, adapter, you don't need to provide all the properties. It will fetch most of the details from the Bistock admin console. If you are having MQ series adapter, you will need to provide a few details, such as channel name, connection name, and the user ID. So let's just configure these two. So as you all know, the channel name will be uh, the channel name which is responsible for communication between the queue managers. The queue name will be the, the object that is used to store messages in the application. The connection name is the communication connection identifier. Uh, the transport type, currently Bistock 360 only supports TCP type. The user ID will be the name of the user who has the authority to perform any operation on the queue. And uh, you provide the password. The SSL is an optional uh, parameter for security. You will need to provide the cipher specification and the SSL peer name if you have that. And now let's move on to the conditions. So uh, Bistock 360 allows you to add up to five conditions. So you can have a warning, you can have an error condition, you can have up to five conditions for alert thresholds based on your needs. And for each condition, you can also have several sub conditions using the AND and OR operators. For now, I'm just going to say warn me if the current queue depth is greater than 10 and send me an error if it exceeds 20. So I'm going to save that. So uh, we configured the MQ series. Now I'm going to configure the MQSC adapter. It's relatively simpler because most of the details are picked up already from the admin console. I'm just going to put that as zero so we can see that it's warning because current depth is actually zero. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and actually put a message just to change uh, the queue depth on the local queue one. Uh, so I have here the local queue one, which was set up to if uh, the current depth is increased from um, zero. So there we have, it's gone to the warning state. So we should get a notification. So uh, th thus we have uh, had a quick look at how to configure and uh, monitor the queues of IBM Q. I hope you found this uh, video uh, useful. Please uh, log into our website for more such videos. Thank you.